Hey everyone, if you've ever worked on your own car's engine, you know just how important the coolant temperature sensor is. This sensor tells your car's computer critical data about the operating temperature of the engine. However, not all coolant temperature sensors are wired the same way. In this video, I'll walk you through how to read coolant temperature sensor wiring diagrams so you can understand exactly how your sensor is connected. Whether you have a one, two, or three wire coolant temp sensor, we'll cover how to interpret each type of diagram. Let's get started. First, what exactly is a coolant temperature sensor? This resistor-based sensor measures the temperature of the engine coolant and sends that data to the car's ECU or computer. The computer uses this temperature information to adjust the fuel mixture and ignition timing for optimal performance. Coolant temp sensors come in three main types, one, two, and three wire sensors. Each has a slightly different wiring setup. One wire coolant temp sensor. Let's start with the simplest, the one wire sensor. As the name suggests, this sensor only has a single wire used for grounding. You'll find one wire sensors in older vehicles. When the engine temp gets high, the resistance in the sensor drops, closing the circuit to the ground. This activates the radiator fan relay, turning on the fan to cool things down. Two wire coolant temp sensor. Moving up in complexity, two wire sensors have separate wires for ground and signal. The computer controls the radiator fan directly via a relay using data from the sensor. When the sensor detects coolant temp approaching 230 degrees Fahrenheit, it signals the computer to switch the relay and turn on the radiator fan. Pretty straightforward. Three-wire coolant temp sensor. Finally, more modern three-wire sensors add a third wire for the temperature gauge on the dash cluster. The other two wires still provide ground and signal to the computer. The third wire gives a direct ground signal to the temp gauge so it moves up and down with real-time data. Slick. Okay, we've covered the types of sensors. Now let's look at how to read wiring diagrams. These diagrams use color-coded wires, connector labels, and basic symbols to show how a sensor is wired. You'll see the sensor represented by a simple shape. Wires are lines and connectors are labeled with their function. Ground, signal, power source etc. Having the wiring diagram for your specific vehicle is key for installing or replacing your coolant temp sensor properly. There you have it, a crash course in reading and understanding coolant temperature sensor wiring diagrams. Whether you have the one, two, or three wire type, these diagrams take the guesswork out of working on your cooling system. Be sure to grab the correct diagram for your vehicle before tackling any engine work. And don't forget to disconnect the battery before doing any wiring work. Hope this video helped explain these important engine management diagrams. Let me know if you have any other sensor topics you'd like me to cover in the comments. Until next time, stay tuned and keep wrenching.